hey guys welcome to this series of yellow and android so today in this video we'll see that how to train our model in google collab so in previous video we see that how to level the images and generate the .txt file this file so today we'll see that how to train the model let me close it and guys you can see that i have already leveled all the images just close it oh. So guys to do that we need uh, this repo alexab so just download this zip file i have already download this you can see that this is the darknet master zip file so just extract here in this folder in cfg file you can find that there uh, there are lots of uh, cfg files like yellow version yellow v3 cfg file and so we just need two cfg files one is yellow v2 and one yellow v2 tiny so just copy it and paste it outside and so guys rename it according to your need oh one more thing guys don't use this file just let it uh, here we can do one more thing that we can use this instead of using yellow v2 we can use this version of yellow yellow v2 608 into 608 so just copy the cfg code from here just copy it actually guys we don't need this uh, yellow v2 full version but yeah you can check it and open it and paste the code here so yeah save it close it so guys after that we need to edit our uh, cfg file according to our number of classes so just open it and you have to change so after opening make sub changes uh, make patch number 64 and subdivision 8 and put the number of classes you have so in this case i have four classes so i have put here four here we have to change one more thing the the number of filters so uh, one thing you should notice that the number of filters equals to the number of filters equals to CLA the number of classes plus 5 into 5 uh, in our case number of classes is 4 so 4 plus 5 into 5 so that will be equals to 45 so just put here 45 in the number of filters So guys that much so after that just save the cfg file and close it you can also version of yellow make pass size 64 and subdivision equals to 60 subdivision 16 classes equals to 4 and filters equals to complete save and close it 
so after that guys uh, open the data folder after this just make here new txt file and name it opj dot data and come over here and copy this text control c open the file and paste it control v so guys uh, here the number of classes is two but we have four so make it four two more thing we need 10.txt 10.txt we don't need this validation and guys one more file we need that is opj.names so make this opj.names so make here new txt opj Names and save it and and guys in this file we need to write our classes like we have happy sad crying and angry and guys save it control yes. save it so after that uh, we have edit our we have edit our cfg file and we have our obj dot data and obj dot names so guys after that one more thing we have to do just make a one more folder name it obj yeah that's created and guys copy the all images from here or training images copy all images from here control control c and paste it in the obj folder okay and let it finish so after that we also need the txt file which we create during leveling so just go to bounding boxes txt then select the all and paste it over here data next so guys after that one more thing we need that uh, we have to generate a ten dot txt file refer to this images so to create level dot txt we need this pro simple program so I will put this program link in the description so just run it and it will automatically create a trend.txt file here you can see you can open it there you can see that uh, data slash opj slash all the images so yeah just copy it and paste it inside the data folder So guys, so <coughs> till now what we have done, just move it, we have created data then obj.names, then trend.txt, and create obj folder, with images, and levels.txt file so that much guys so after that just rename it okay rename it like yellow fitting darknet master so after rename it compress this folder into zip file select zip and press ok So guys this is our zip file so guys to access this file from google Colab, we need to upload this zip file into our google drive
so guys after that just copy this file into your google drive so guys here you can see that i have already uploaded this zip file into my drive so i'm not gonna do that again so cancel upload uh, so guys everything is every editing part is done so now we have to open google collab and we have to start our training so let's start and before that guys if you haven't connect google collab with your uh, drive first do that to do just right click on your drive click more and then go to connect more apps just search here for google collab and press enter and guys here you will see a option connect just click connect here and then google collab will connect with your google drive so after that i will put a github link to this notebook which i will use download that uh, ipynb file from my github repo and upload it to your uh, google drive and then right click on it and open with google collaboratory So when it's fully loaded, after that make sure that you have enabled the GPU acceleration option. So to check, go to edit, then notebook setting, then click here hardware accelerator and select your GPU and save. And then, then it will be automatically connected to this runtime environment. So guys, make sure that whatever name you give in your zip file uh, give it here because uh, this is going to copy uh, your zip file from your drive to this collab so just re uh, rename according to your file name after that just go to runtime then run or basically guys this code is for connect google drive with this collab so first we have to verify our authentication so to do that click on this link then choose the gmail account in which you upload your zip file then allow and copy this access token paste it and press enter after that guys you will see a drag folder will pop
guys as you can see that the training is started and um, if you get any error during this phase then i have put in my whatsapp group link in the description so just join there and let me know if you face any problem so guys when you should stop the training uh, if you come dark lxp dark mode repo in redmi section you will find that when should i stop training then you will find that when the average loss is lower than that or that much that's this will be the best time to stop the training so guys after 2000 epoch and not after 2000 for every thousand epoch the words file is going to save in this sorry in this backup folder. so just download the words from this backup folder so that if you lo lose the connection from this collab which is often happen then uh, you easily upload the words so that you can easily upload the words from here just right click on backup and then click on upload and just choose the file from here just choose the file where you save your words and then again you then again you can start your training by just type this command so guys just complete this training and i will see you in the next video